In this real estate photography tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to light using the flambient method in what could possibly be some of the most difficult situations you're going to run into as a real estate photographer or a realtor or an Airbnb owner. And I am talking about wood ceilings, wood walls, your log cabins, uh, that kind of thing. So in this particular uh, home that we're going to be taking a look at a living room situation right here. This had from floor to ceiling, including the ceiling, cathedral ceilings, pine everywhere. So you got to watch out for color casts, yellows, your oranges. You're e even going to run into greens if it's in the summertime when there's, there's greens and foliage outside with the sun coming in. That is going to cast green on your walls. So I'm going to show you and walk through the tools that I use to shoot uh, houses like this and the methods I use to edit them to get a nice clean image. So the first thing that uh, I have discovered that actually works quite well for this situation is using a monopod. And what I have done to modify this for my purposes is putting a flash bracket with an umbrella holder on the end. Now I'm going to leave links to all this stuff, uh, but what I needed to do in order to make this work was taking one of these, uh, I believe it's a 5 8 adapter uh, bolt that is going to go onto this 5 8 head where the tripod head would sit. So you take, you remove that, you put on one of these, screw it on there and then that will allow this to fit on there so you can screw this on there tighten it down and you're good to go all right so let's get into lightroom right now and i'm going to show you how to edit an image like this let's go all right so here we are looking at the ambient layer or ambient shot and if you can tell that we have pine all over the ceiling we have a big screen tv here that's casting a lot of glare we have green getting thrown up against this wall this wall is actually gray but you wouldn't know it there's also a purple hue that's coming in uh, and this couch is getting discolored so your ambient layer is not going to work all right and so this is the other flash layer let me reset this so you can see. And again, I should have been watching my histogram because that clearly is not enough flash power. So what I need to do is just, and now also notice you can see my umbrella getting a reflection in that window. So we know we don't really want to use this window or this for the window. So we can bring up that exposure like that. And I can tell that the white balance is off. Let me do my initial bump here. That's going to give me Adobe Neutral. I like that for the profile up there. So now that we bump the exposure, I like that. I'm going to say the white balance is looking pretty good right now. And let's go to my flash repair layer, which is this one. And you can see I'm holding up my flash right here, shooting it at the window. If we, if we reset this, that was a good repair layer. We can even drop those highlights, bring that back in. But if we just take our initial bump here and then increase that exposure. Now you're probably wondering why I have it reversed like that. That is to try to eliminate shadows. Now, I don't recommend doing this anymore. I recommend just shooting into the room, getting that flash up. That's why I like using this monopod because this will extend and you can hold this way up, especially for uh, rooms like this with super tall ceilings. Hold that way up and just shoot it out into the room, maybe tipping down a little bit, simulating a light up, you know, that's shining down. And, and that'll help to spread that light out as evenly as possible, reducing the shadows. So now that we got a repair layer, Bring those highlights down even more. We're going to be able to use this image for our windows. So let's take these images. That's our flash layer. Highlight this one. Highlight our ambient layer. Command or right click. Edit in. Open as layers in Photoshop. All right. So once all your layers have been loaded into Photoshop, normal tutorials. And if this was any other situation, I would say try doing luminosity mode, but it just starts to discolor the wood up here. And I, I'm going to recommend just sticking to normal. And I'll show you at the end of this another technique to getting to getting rid of uh, color casts. So 
let's keep moving. All right, let's just for now, we got um, the ambient layer at normal. Let's just drop it to 50%, get a nice blend going here. Okay, and so now what we can do is take and create a layer mask. Do not invert it to make sure black is selected over here. We're gonna use our paintbrush. I like to keep my flow at between six and 9%, but for this one, I'm gonna keep it at, let's put it at five per, six percent. Okay, and then just start painting back in the windows. And again, remember, we don't need all of this layer because we have a repair layer that we're going to use. But I want to make sure that we get this layer as our layer that's uh, for the border of the, like for the border of the windows because the other flash layer was a little dark. So we're just going to do that now. We're going to highlight this one, the bottom layer, drag that all the way to the top. And then we're going to create a layer, command I to invert it, make sure white is selected. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. And how I did that was I just did command plus on my keyboard and minus to make it out. Now the brackets will allow you to make your brush bigger or smaller. Left and right bracket, right makes it bigger, left makes it smaller. And I'm going to paint back in, see if we can get more of that sky coming through. That looks good. And we got to watch the border so it doesn't look darker than the rest. We want to make this an even blend as possible. Like that, that looks good. Let's get rid of our reflection now, which was the whole point of this layer. And again, we're going to be able to fix these windows over here too. Just make your brush smaller, paint that in. These won't be as necessary because they'll start to get really dark like I believe and you just switch it to black again if you want to fix any issue there we want to have it look natural now you notice there's still green coming through so how we can fix this is just make sure the layer on top is selected we need to create a hue saturation layer click on that and then we're going to take our little uh, eyedropper tool by clicking this finger here that's pointing and click anywhere in the image and it looks like yellows it's saying use the saturation slider and pull that color out and shut that off now we just got a command I to invert that make sure white is selected brush tool make your brush bigger and now paint over that to get that color out of there all right, so now that I toggle that on and off, you can see right here on the wall that uh, we got rid of that greenish yellow color cast that was coming in through the sun. But we still have some discoloration going on here, and nine times out of ten, it's going to be a blue color cast issue. So what we need to do is create another hue saturation layer and just come down here to the master slider and click blue and then drop that and if we toggle that on and off you can see right there that that took out that blue color cast on the wood here and on the carpet and again we command I to invert that and then we can paint that back out because if you don't obviously it takes it out of the entire image it takes it out of your sky if you have sky visible which we do and we gotta just paint that blue out of there get it off the couch and maybe it was on the walls too check that ain't gonna hurt because we know that there's no blue within that wall color and let's toggle that on and off see if it looks better it does okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this TV because it looks like a, it can't even tell it's really a TV it looks like a mirror on there so at this point we know all our corrections are done maybe we can paint out some get rid of that blue maybe there's some in the wood there Okay, I'm just going to come down to the last image, right click, flatten image, and command J to duplicate it. That way if we get too far ahead of ourselves and things didn't work out for whatever reason, you can just junk that layer instead of working with only one layer. So otherwise your work would be done and you'd have to go back and start all over. So from this point, 
we're going to take our pen tool, command plus to zoom in here, and slide up to that TV. And we're going to make clicking, we're just going to click and lift on each corner of the TV. Right here. This one's cut off, but that's okay. And then click on the first dot, and it will make a complete selection, but you have to right click and then fill path. Now, by default, the color is black, so just hit OK. And then we can take our opacity. I, I honestly think like 75% is pretty good. And now Command minus to back out. And if we toggle that on and off, that looks so much better. You can actually tell it's a TV. Now, I believe that's all we need to do for this one. I am going to right click, flatten image. I'm going to show you one more technique to getting rid of any color casts, making sure that we have a true neutral white balance. So, what you can do, and I already have a preset for this, but I'll walk you through the steps. We're going to Command J to duplicate the layer, come up here to filter, and then blur, and then take an average of the entire scene. Now, there you go. This should be neutral gray because an even amount of red, green, and blue is always going to be gray. Whatever the number is, it doesn't matter. It'll just give you a different tone of gray. So we need to come down here and do a curves adjustment layer. Click on the center eyedropper. Click on anywhere in the image, and it's going to correct that gray middle point for us. And then we can toggle that first layer off. And now if you toggle off and on your uh, curves adjustment layer, you can see that definitely took out a lot of that orange yellow cast sometimes for my taste it does it a little too much and we're gonna take the opacity maybe down to 60 70 percent you can still see that it did a lot to reduce that orange you know orange coming through the image so I really like that looks for like a very nice clean image we don't have any unnecessary shadows going on so we're just gonna come down here and flatten image again and hit OK, and then Command S to save it to bring it back into Lightroom. And I'm going to do my interior final bump here. And again, I love to, if you've seen any of my other tutorials, I love to bring that black down. That looks a little bit too much there. Something like that. But there you go. Do me a favor, leave me a comment below if you have any issues or you have any questions about this method. I read and reply to every comment. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.